Hello again. Good morning. How are you? I really missed you. Okay, so today we're going to take a new unit. We're going to take unit 15. Are you excited? Perfect. Now, the big question of today's unit is why do we need plants? Why do we need plants? Of course, we know that plants are very important to us. Yes, they give us what? Excellent, they give us food. The food, most of the food that we eat come from the plants. Excellent. Okay, before we know the uh, vocab words, the new words that we're going to study in this unit, and before we discuss the big question, let's watch the video. Okay, so we're going to watch a video now about why do we need plants, and we're going to discuss it together. Okay, let's start. Are you ready? Perfect. Let's start. Hello, how are you today? Are you ready for another big question? It's, why do we need plants? Do you like my window box? I just filled it with a bag of soil, planted some seeds, and watered it every day. Now, I've got lots of lovely plants. I'm very happy with them. Plants are important for different reasons. Of course, they look really nice. People enjoy spending time in gardens. They enjoy growing plants, and they enjoy looking at them too. Plants look beautiful, but they do much more than that. In fact, they keep us alive. Plants give us the oxygen we breathe, and plants' leaves turn sunlight into energy for the plant. And when they make this energy, they make oxygen too. Plants also give us food. Fruits, vegetables, even seeds are all plants and we can eat all of them. Honey also comes from plants. Bees gather pollen and nectar from plants to make honey. Food from plants is delicious. That's why I'm growing some of my own. After growing these plants, I became curious about how they grow. I know their lives begin with a seed, and I know that these seeds need soil to grow. But what happens to them? Well, the stem grows up and the roots grow down. Leaves grow along the stem and the flowers grow towards the sun. The leaves take energy from the sun and the roots take water from the soil. It's amazing. And at the end of the process, you have beautiful flowers. Of course, they don't last forever, but don't worry. As the plants come to the end of their life, they drop their seeds and new plants grow in their place. So there are always plants to enjoy. Do you like growing plants? Okay, so did you enjoy the video? Yes, it was amazing, I know. So again, to revise quickly what uh, he said in the video, we need plants and uh, plants are important to us because they give us food yes they give us food and also we can use them for decorations to decorate a place we use the plants because they are colorful there are plenty of colors for the plants yes and also they help us to breathe they give us oxygen so see how plants are important Okay, so again, we said that they give us food. Do you know that we eat most of the parts of the plant, like the roots? We eat the roots. Yes, we do eat the roots. The roots are the part that grows under the soil. Now, let me show you a drawing of the roots. One minute. 
Okay, so as you can see here, this is a drawing of a flower with all its parts. Now, can you see here, this is the ground where you put in the seeds. This part here is the ground where you put in the seeds to grow the flower. This is called what? Soil. It's called the soil. Perfect. And what grows under the soil? It's the roots. Do you know what kind of vegetables do we eat that use it, that we consider as roots? Do you know? Okay, so I will tell you what are these vegetables. There are the carrots, the potatoes, they all grow under the soil. So that's why they are considered as roots. So we do eat the roots. Okay, one minute please. Okay, so as I was, I was saying that the potatoes and the carrots, they are considered roots because they grow under the ground, under the ground, under the soil. So they are roots. After that, this part here, the long part here, it's called the stem. It's called the stem. Very good. And this part here, it's flat. This flat part here, they are the leaves. This is the leaf here. This is the leaf here. They are the flat parts. Very good. Now here, this part of the flower that is colorful, you can find red flowers, you can find purple flowers, blue, white, all colors. So this colorful part here, they are called petals. They are called the petals. Excellent, very good. Now here there is, in, in the middle here, in the middle, there is like a yellow powder you can find in most of the flowers, yellow powder. It's called the what? It's called the pollen. It's called the pollen. Very good. Do you know when bees come to the flower? This pollen, it's powder. P -p pollen, P -p powder. This pollen sticks to the bee and the bee moves it from one flower to the other flower. This is called pollination and we will read more about it in the unit. Okay, so these are the parts of the flowers. We eat the roots, as I mentioned, and also we eat the stems. Yes, and we will read more about it and we eat the leaves. You know that the tea, the tea that your parents drink, it comes from the leaves. There is a leaf, it's called the tree, uh, the tea. So it's, it's a leaf, you know that, the tea, this tea, it's a leaf, okay? So we will read more about it in the unit, okay? So let's read the new words. I want you to open your Oxford student's book to page number 148. First, we're going to listen to the words. And then we're going to discuss its meanings, okay? We will listen to the words. Page 148, Unit 15, Get Ready, Words. A, listen and read the words. Listen again and say the words. Soil, seeds, roots. Stem, leaves, petals, nectar, pollen, oxygen, humans. Perfect. So after we heard the words, please try to say them after me. Soil. Seeds, roots, stem, leaves, petals, nectar, pollen, oxygen, humans. Perfect. Now, before we discuss the meanings, 
I want you to pause the uh, video for five minutes. I want you to search for the meanings of the words at the back you will find in the dictionary like we always do. Okay, now after you find the words in the dictionary, highlight them. If you don't have a highlighter, you can underline the word and its meaning and please read it. Don't only underline it, but read it too. Okay, so pause the video for five minutes and start searching. Perfect. Now, what is the meaning of the word soil? What is the soil? Huh? Who can tell me what is the soil? Huh? Who knows? Who found the word soil? Perfect. Soil, it's what the plants and trees grow in. So it's the ground that grows in it, the plants and the trees, as you can see. Perfect. Now, who can tell me the meaning of the word seeds? Huh? Excellent. It's the small, hard parts of a plant. You put the seeds in the ground and the new plant grows. So the seeds, it's the small part, it's the small parts of the plant. You put it in the ground or in the soil so you can grow new ones. You can grow new ones. Okay, next. What's the meaning of the word roots? Huh? Who can tell me what's the meaning of the word roots? Very good. The parts of a plant that are under the ground. See here, you can see the roots in the picture here. Very good. Now, who can tell me what's the meaning of the word stem? Hmm? Who found the word stem? Excellent. It's the long, thin part of a plant that the flowers and leaves grow on. Like here in the picture that I drew, this long part that the leaves and the flower grows on, and it's long. Okay, perfect. The next word, petals. Huh. Who found the word petals? Who can tell me what's the meaning of the word petals? Hmm. Who can tell me? Very good. The parts of a flower that give it color. So it's the colorful part of the flower. Here, like the picture that we drew here. These are the petals. These, you can find it in different colors. Very good. Now, next, nectar. Uh, who found the word nectar? Hmm? Who found the word nectar? Excellent! It's the sweet liquid that bees get from flowers to make honey. And usually this liquid, it's sticky. Okay, it's sticky. So it's a liquid that the bees take from the flower and it makes what? It makes honey. Very good. Okay, next. The word pollen. Huh? Pollen. We already said the meaning of the word pollen. Who, can, who found the word pollen? Very good. Pollen is a powder that flowers make. Insects or the one wind take pollen to other flowers so that they can make new seeds. Excellent. So as we mentioned that this pollen, it's powder. Okay, so when insects take it, when it sticks to the bee, for example, sticks from the bee, so it takes the pollen from one flower to the other flower. It makes new seeds and other flowers. Very good. Oxygen. Huh? Who can tell me who found the word oxygen? It's very easy. Very good. A gas in the air. Animals and plants need oxygen to live. This is what we breathe. Very good. Finally, humans. Huh? They are people. Very good. So humans are the people. Excellent. Okay. Let's see next what we will do now. Okay. Next, we're going to answer question B. It says, two of the three words are correct. Cross out the wrong answer. So there are two correct answers. We're going to cross out the wrong answer. Now, number one. It says, let's zoom in. Number one, it says, it's difficult to see on a plant. Hmm. 
What's difficult to see? Huh? What's difficult to see? Nectar, petal, or pollen? We said that the pollen it's the yellow part that most of the uh, the uh, the plants have, the flowers have. It's powder and petal. All the flowers have petal because it's colorful. So what's the wrong answer? Excellent, the nectar. We don't always see the nectar. Very good. So we will cross out the word nectar. Okay, it has color. Petal, leaf, or oxygen? Huh? The pet, the petal. Does it have a color? Yes. So it's a correct answer. The leaf. Does it have a color? Of course it does. The oxygen. Does it have a color? No, we can't see oxygen because it's gas. Very good. They stand straight up. Huh. What stands straight up? Leaves, stems, or humans? Humans, we can't stand straight up. Yes? Okay. What about the stems? Of course they do. What about the leaves? Do they stra stand straight up? No, they don't. So this is the correct, the wrong answer. We will cross it out finally a plant make these huh? a plant makes these what does the plant make seeds yes of course they do does it make roots of course it's part of the plant the soil does the plant do the soil no so this is the wrong answer we will cross it out perfect now let's move on to the next question Okay, question C. What do you already know about plants? Write two things below and share them with a partner. Now, this is from your own. You will write, what do you already know about plants? Huh? What do you know about plants? That they what? They give us oxygen. They are beautiful. They give us food, like fruits and vegetables. So all of these things, we know them about plants. I want you only to write two things, okay? Perfect. Okay, now turn to the next page. Before you read, think, answer the questions. Okay. Do you think plants grow faster or slower than people? Huh. What do you think? Do you think that they grow fast or faster than us or slower than us? Very good. They grow faster. They grow faster in us. Some plants take three days to grow, but we take a long time to grow and be adults, yes? So they take faster time than us. Okay, question two. In what months do flowers appear in your country? When does the flowers appear here in Egypt? Very good, during the summer time or the spring time, yes? Yes, during the spring time, the, the flowers begin to appear. So beginning of uh, uh, of March, April, yes, they start to appear because before that there is winter, yes, perfect. Now, question three, what animals eat seeds? What seeds do you eat? Huh. Which animals eat the seeds? We said that the seeds are the hard part of the plants, yes? So which animal eats the hard part? Very good, the birds. The birds, they eat seeds. Okay, what seeds do you eat? Huh? So you can say whatever answer. You know that there is the sunflower seeds. We eat the sunflower seeds. Yes, it's very tasty and delicious. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. See you soon. Bye.